to the Macabre Mansion. I am your host, Macabre Mom 77. Welcome back, my minions. Please do not shut down the game. Anymore. Well, no kidding. We're definitely not going to shut down the game. I'm so sad if Rachel Foster is a fictional game containing sensitive subjects that explore grooming and whatnot. So anybody that does not like subjects like that, uh, I would suggest stopping or leaving the stream. Uh, and yeah. Not seeing it, so that works. So The Suicide of Rachel Foster is a game that I've actually been wanting to play for quite a long time. We are going to turn on the subtitles. Yes. Uh, let's see. I'm going to turn up the voice a little bit. I've never played this before. Um, I know basically some of the lore about it. However, uh, we shall see what transpires. I've seen a lot of other big YouTubers play it. Um, I have seen, I've definitely seen, I've seen Markiplier play it. I've seen Jack play it, I believe. Um, it, it's a good game from what I have seen so far. But we shall see how far we get into it. Without further ado, here is The Suicide of Rachel Foster. So it's a choo basically a choose-your-own-adventure type thing. My dear Nicole, You are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and fair. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy, but remember what Dr. Franklin said after your speech at high school graduation. Faced with the dragon, one must brandish sword and shield. Someone has to know when to kneel before the dragon. I've always thought of you as a fighter who, faced with the toughest challenges, is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. But we never talked about what happened with your father. But now I need to tell you a few things before his illness separates us. Thank you. 
I never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I didn't want you to live your life like I have. I want you to be safe from the past once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say. Sell our hotel. The hotel is my family's and you're entitled to it. Go back to Nicole. I hired a lawyer in Helena, Mr. Jenkins, to give you this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be gone long. Take a quick inspection, sign the papers, and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest to the girl's family. Let's end this strong. Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birthday. But that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else we can do. Fighting for or dying for. Believe me. Okay, so this takes place, like, now since I've just now been getting the game and it's pretty late in August. This takes place more than, like, 30 years ago. Um, and apparently, this Rachel Foster is the girl who was involved in the affair. And, of course, we're here at her casket, and... Not a very nice day for a funeral, but when, they, when is there an actual nice day for a funeral? Seriously? Ooh, snow blindness. Ow. Flashbang. Helena National Forest, Montana, U.S., December 1993. The bad weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall, especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clout County? Sure seems to be. I mean, wouldn't that sound like an ominous thing to you to be heading into this massive snowstorm that's not been around since like the 50s, the mid 50s? I mean, come on. You're heading out to take care of stuff that your mother left you. No less. She left you an entire whole ass hotel. But she wants you to sell it because it's... Walls are full of bad memories. So what do you do? You pack up. You head out to Montana. And you drive through possibly the worst snowstorm in known history. Well, since the 1950s, actually. Since 1955. And you wind up there to do exactly what your mother wanted you to do. The smell. That's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. Oh, we've got a head bob going on here. Good lord. Basically driving a gremlin, apparently. Trying to get a feel for things around here. This is an old car. 
High voltage, do not touch. Okay, no problem. Snowy out there. And we are... Alrighty. Atmosphere is perfect. Creepy as hell. I actually kind of love it. I love games like this because you really don't know what to expect. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. But that begs the question. What exactly are you... Oh, great. And there's a ringing telephone. Of course. Oh, there's no way of getting in there. Or there. <laughs> Oops. Cramps. Oh, pickaxe is missing. Oh. Wait, what? Hey, there's a phone ringing somewhere, but where the hell is it? Oh, it's gotta be in the office here. Right? Yep, it is. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message. Nine one one emergency. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Hello? Can you hear me? Okay. What's your emergency? So somebody called 911 and didn't say anything? And there we go. They called back to find out what's Mr. going on. Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Well, there are financial hardships, then, apparently. Uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy Bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Uh, he'll be snowed out. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh, very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it, I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? Sure. We should Why have not? hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. Okay. Ooh, nice. Got an old radio here. Looks like it's been from the 50s at least. Okay. Good lord. Star map. Okay. 
Okay then. Wow. Master Sweet, huh? Okay, so that's gotta be upstairs, right? Alright. Time to go upstairs. I think it's storage. Good lord, the granddaddy of all floppy disks. Jeez. I didn't know they still made those damn things. Okay, well, since he apparently left things in the master suite, and there is no one. God, that's so pretty. Welcome to the beginning of your adventure. <laughs> sure, okay, no problem. What an adventure this is going to be. Okay, so we've got to get to the Master Suite. This apparently is just like a little lounge area. First floor, 101 to 108, 109 to 117, and 118 to 122. Okay. Master Suite is this way. ever come to clean around here doing that so how can soap look dirty good god come on y'all coyjet okay makes perfect sense that's 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 definitely a yeah that's definitely a a a, a good idea to have around there It looks like there's even still water in the sink. What the hell? Okay. So if this is the master suite, where the hell is that damn key? Oh, that's not it. What the fuck? Nope. 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 books, a box. Um, something tells me I'm going to be finding a lot of boxes. Telephone! No shit. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. I forgot. There's stuff down here. Aha! Master Suite. Yes, yes. Ah, Lance glasses. Poor dad. Always losing them. Always asking me to find them when they were right on top of his head. Wow. And again, it's filthy. Oh. All the pills, all the shavers. What the hell was he taking them for?
Binston. Love it. And a crush proof box. Yeah. I doubt that's the case. Because every box is always able to be crushed. Ew. Sponges are okay. <laughs> Pluto. Okay. They say so. Don't get me wrong, sponges are great to clean with. They really are. But, de oh my god. Dear Description Hotel, Dear Miss Nicole Wilson, recipient. This is to inform you that the nominated personal re representative, Claire Wilson, is intended to transfer the property of Leonard McGrath's last will and testament. All the ownership rights and responsibility are now attributed to the recipient. That's us. Please acknowledge receipt of this letter and confirm indicating your consent to the above transmission, returning it to me in a correct envelope. If you do not receive your reply to the proposed transfer, we'll assume that you accord to it and that there will not be any future problems resolving the regarding the owner of the property named above. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Sincerely, Lawyer Benjamin Jenkins. Lawyer Benjamin Jenkins. Okay. And then what's this? Oh, it's the last will. Timber, Timberline. Timberline or Timberline? I thought it was Timberline Hotel, but apparently it's Timberline. Hotel at 2880 something or another road. Hell, road. Eh. Nope. Okay. Nothing else on the table to look at, apparently. Wait, can't even see nothing outside. The windows are so fogged out. Jeez. Ooh. String theory. Can't read it to save my life. Ooh. Mathematical physics. Okay. Interesting. Apparently Dad was an avid reader of everything he could get his hands on. Why is it... Oh my god. Just... Okay. The fact that this looks so good... I mean, seriously? It looks so... Okay. That's adorable. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but that's adorable. And the fact that the painting itself looks like it's actually on a canvas, or could be even a lithograph. The lights reflecting off of that glass, that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. What in the hell has he got here? That's tomato sauce. Okay. Apparently that's all dear, dear dad ate towards the end. Flooring and mathematic. Okay. Matches. More matches, a lighter, and a pen. Okay. Peaches, peanut butter. Oh my god. This man did not have the best diet in the world, did he? Look at Jesus. What was he trying to calculate? How to get to Mars? Light bulb flux and luminosity. Okay. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. What a fuck is the key? Come on now. Where the hell is the key? It said it was in here in the master suite. Oh. Nope. Maybe 
Nemo. Okay. They still gotta look for Nemo. Mala. Okay. Can't. Okay. Apparently I can't do anything. This is getting monotonous. Again, Koijik. A very popular toothpaste and toothpaste toothpaste brand here in the uh, in the hotel. Everybody uses it. Apparently, he had a cat. I guess. Don't nobody know where the hell that fucking cat went. Don't nobody know. Don't nobody care. Okay, but why were the keys though? Leonard, Claire, Nicole, Dad, me, Mom. Okay. Come on, y'all. Now where you put your keys? Okay. In the bedroom. Cannot read that shit. Oh my god. Leonard's book, whatever that is. Puzzle cube. Yeah, it's a Rubik's cube. I'll put that shit up. Okay, so Leonard apparently looks like he was into a lot of different things, a lot of different lifestyles. He was a mathematician. He studied esoteric Buddhism. Calculated everything in his life. He couldn't exactly how to calculate. He couldn't exactly calculate how he was either going to die or what was going to come. It was a heavy ass smoker too. Damn. Okay. And this has to be our room. Everything's here exactly the same as when me and mom left 10 years ago. It's so... <sighs> Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. Okay. There's a floppy disk. Ooh. Old friend. Yeah. Gaming joystick. Those are still around. Victims in the last three days. The snow plows are ready, but we're waiting for the intensity of the snowfall to that will be possible blackouts in the more isolated areas. Make sure your generators are in good condition for stockpiles of fuel. Instructions refrain from going outside unless isolated return home. Well, I guess every single one of the radio stations is a bust. ASAP. Okay. Number 85. Ooh, nice lava lamp. I actually still have one of those. Damn. I think this kid was obsessed with unicorns. Uh -huh. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. Okay, so we're gonna pick that. Oh my god, look, it's the brick phone. The brick cell phone. The first one made. That's terrifying. Old workbook. Well, okay. So we're not bad at art. Definitely not bad at all. We can draw a hockey player. Not bad. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. 
Begone Bozo. I love that. And there's a hat. Okay, out the door. Go. Oh, and we can't get in here. Naturally. Hey, old Polaroid. Of course, that looks like a breaker. In case we had to get in there, we couldn't get in there because there's a whole bunch of shit stockpiled to the ceiling. Atomic Astrophysics and Spectroscopy. Okay, so apparently there's only one phone in here, but I, it's not coming from that phone. Oh, wait, it's the cell phone, it's the brick. What is this, a joke? Hello? C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. Oh, McGrath was okay. my father's. So... Uh, uh, this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... whatchamacallit? I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. But... But the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. That... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. Uh, I. You. Uh... Bye. Okay, so we definitely hold some grudges towards our father, apparently. Um, simply for the affair, I'm guessing. Maybe we loved mom a little bit more than. And he loved us. That's my guess, at least, as to how we're feeling at the moment. This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. They're so frosty, you can't even see through them. Damn. Okay, so apparently this... Oh. there be a dying rose here, not a dead one? Okay. Don't know what the hell that noise was. Don't really care. Oh. 
Hello? Nice little ballroom here, complete with a bar. Oh, that's gorgeous. Green marble. Ugh. Or would that be granite? Anybody watching this, let me know if this is granite or marble. I think it's granite. But damn. Even on just a simple PS4, these graphics are amazing. They really are. Just why? Why does it look like there was a body here? This building is so dilapidated. It's gorgeous still, but it's getting dilapidated to the point of where the walls themselves are just kind of cracking and falling over. Lonely thoughts, huh? Yeah, don't ever let yourself be alone with lonely thoughts, kitties. Definitely not something you want. Nope, 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 not going in there. Oh, I don't want to open that last one. I don't want to open that last one. Forget it. Nope, I'm out of here. Nope. Okay, so that just basically makes a whole giant circle. Okay. There's a painting missing over here. You can tell by the way the wood is darker underneath, or lighter underneath, rather. So this is the Hotel's Witch Pyre. So this is the Witch Pyre, also known as the Fireplace Room. Hunting made easy. Sure. Only if you're looking for mushrooms. Which I don't mind mushrooms. I really don't. I rather like them. Um. Oh god, Rapunzel. Why? Once upon a time there was a man and his wife. They had wanted a child for a long time but had never had one. One day a miracle happened and the woman gave her husband the news that they both had so long wished for. They were going to have a baby. The man and his wife lived in a house with a small window in the kitchen overlooking a beautiful garden full of fresh vegetables and flowers. Unfortunately, there was a high wall of barbed wire all around it. No one ever entered it because it belonged to a mighty witch who everyone was terrified of. 
Great way to paraphrase that book. Never mind telling everybody that, oh yeah, by the way, this child's hair has healing power, so let's cut it all off. High energy astrophysics. Okay then. So this must be the smoking room. Oh, this leads out into here. Okay. What the hell? This is the game room, and there's... This is sad. This is just sad. Really, it really is. It's hard to see these gorgeous, these kinds of gorgeous buildings just gone. Like a 1920 climbing equipment. A pickaxe! No kidding. And it's missing. Which is terrifying in and of itself. Um, it's, it's, it really is. It's really hard to see buildings like this. Um, ooh, I don't, nope, that probably leads out to the garage. Oh, reception check-in. Yeah, okay. So, uh, buildings like this, uh, especially... Where I'm at, uh, in my section of the United States, I'm, I live in Texas, so we actually have quite a few uh, dilapidated buildings that are sort of, they've outlived their usefulness, and some say that it's, it's kind of a, a travesty, kind of a tragedy, um, because these buildings in their heyday were just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they served a huge purpose. You know, they they were they were definitely a whoop. What is that for? Nope. Not going down there. Don't know what it's for. Not gonna find out. Well, this is the kitchen. Okay. Um. You know, nobody uh, in their head. Ooh, moldy bread. Ew. Um, people that stayed in these types of places. You know, the 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 rich and the powerful. The oddly um, sink is for handle shall we? Okay. I need to turn on the fragging faucet. Well, it's over there in the corner. Um, you know, people who were important, so to speak. Um, and some people that weren't even so important that they just, you know, had an insane amount of money would go and stay in these places and they would book the entire, sometimes, you know, people would book the entire floor uh, of a hotel for, for no reason, just because they could, basically. Um, Frank Sinatra once booked the entire upper floor, the entire penthouse uh, of a hotel because he, you know, he, he liked to have his friends at gatherings. He liked to have people near him, and whenever he did, uh, he liked for them to have plenty of room there with him. Okay, so the overlook, we need to find out where that is. So the next floor, the overlook. Aha! So it's near the master suite, but it's... Yeah, okay. So we need to go back upstairs. Let's go. Open this. Let's see what's here. Okay, so it is the restaurant. Yay! Okay. Where do I keep hearing shit coming out of here?
I think we can get to the overlook for here. I think. Yep, blue shutter. Hello? Hey, you still there? Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah! Uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Ah, uh, uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Oh, of course I am. Uh, yeah? Nicole, uh, uh, listen. If your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh... Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! Okay. What can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. Well, that explains a lot, doesn't it? Okay. Can't go anywhere in here. Let's come out here, shall we? So pretty much from what I gather from the game so far, we're trying to figure out more Binston. We're trying to sell this hotel because we don't want it. Because our father left it to us. Okay? And we didn't really have anything to do with our father uh, after mom. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. Yeah, so we have to sell the hotel. But there's a massive storm coming in. So, uh, yeah, I kind of tend to agree with her at this moment. Because, yes. Wrong room. changed your mind. You there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? Think so. Maybe someone... <sighs> uh, no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it. I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, we are a was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones. Uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place. I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. 
If you need me, just call. Seriously. Ugh. Fine. Okay, so this is Mom's car. So, rusty old yellow bug. Volkswagen. So now we have to find our keys because we are stuck here like a chunk. And why, you ask? Because we are a dumbass. So apparently, we have left our keys somewhere, and don't know where. So, what do you say we go check out the master suite, huh? being open. I am not going down. The oh yeah, wait, yeah, I did open it, didn't I? I did open this, didn't I? Yep, I did. I did. Okay, we're good. Why can't we open any of the doors? We'll find out soon enough. Okay. Huh. One time with a bear. No kidding. Okay. Well, I can safely think there's no keys in there. Keys on here. A lot of dust and nastiness. Hmm. Nothing over here. Nemo cleaner. Mala. Ah. A little French percolator. Oh, I heard that. Is in here either. Occult anatomy. Okay. Iconology of the human body and the esoteric sciences. Well, I'm a psychologist. I don't need that shit. Okay.
Do I leave them in here? Yeah, I think that's safe to say I did not leave them in here. Hmm. Mixtape. Thoroughly. Guitarist, we're a musician. Definitely cool. Apparently, we like space. Oh, something for Markiplier to find in common with us. Hey. <laughs> okay, so they're not in here either. Where to foot did I put them? Even open. I don't remember that being open. I don't remember that little bird, but I don't remember that cabinet being open. Ugh. Freddy Krueger, is that you? Damn. Come on now. I could have sworn. I thought I maybe had him in my hands. I came in here, you know looking shit over, probably trying to get a bite, trying to figure out what the hell, you know, what the light bulb flux and luminosity is for, maybe try to do the dishes, but you know, nasty sponge. This is something you find out of Minecraft. And it is 10 o'clock. At least on that clock it is. Hmm. Kids' heights by how many hash marks are on the damn wall? I shouldn't be one to talk. I measure how tall my kid is by how many hash marks there are on the medicine cabinet. Okay, let's see here. So we can't get into this because we don't have the master key. Um, yeah, no. Ooh. God, that's so pretty. That is really, really pretty. Okay, I'm going in that way. <laughs> Could it be in here? Maybe. No kidding. In this case is what you call a foregone conclusion. Tell me that shit in here is pretty without telling me shit in here is pretty. And what the hell is with the rug? Why is it all rolled up? Bendy, is that you in there? There's a fucking oh, it's fragile. I thought there was a damn heart written on it or some shit. Jeez. Okay. Well, let's go to the second floor and find out what's waiting up there for us. Even though we really don't want to. Oh. Oh, what is that? Oh. Oh, 
the black mold. Ugh. Yep. This is black mold, alright. Oh, this is just a... Okay, but at least the bathroom... What the fuck? There's a hot water heater above the toilet. What the hell? I can't read a damn bit of that. Okay. Huh. Same bed clothes as the other bed. In the other room. Okay. Oh, this is nasty. Okay, but why? Okay, so it was going to cost this guy almost a hundred grand to completely renovate this entire hotel. 912 cents. Seven, oh, $912,736.70. See, I told you I can English. And I can read, I promise. Why is this door sealed? I know. Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah. Yuck. Oh. Oh. Staff only. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's disgusting. This entire hotel is just nasty. Well, somebody broke it. Been, this door's been brace locked. Okay. Hmm. Murderer eyes. Well, it's a wolf. Come on now. Okay, so this is confusing. The restaurant is great. Love this atmosphere. Given this whole earthy little... 
I'm gonna die in here eventually if I don't hurry up and get my ass out of here vibe, you know? Covered in black mold. I feel like the longer I stay here, the worse it's gonna be. Like legitimately, the the longer this character stays in this place, the worse it's gonna be. And the weirder shit's gonna get. Like I said, I have seen some YouTubers play this. I have seen Jack play it. I have seen Mark play it. This is my first time. So, personally... I'm guessing there's no... Yep, there's only two floors. Okay, so we've been down there. Ooh. Oh, this is gross. Oh, <laughs> yuck. There's a museum here. Why would anybody want to put a museum in this place? Alright. This has been broken and reconstructed, it looks like. Yep, it has. Okay. And I still don't know where the hell we go. And I am trying my door. Oh, hello. Well, there's a flashlight there, but I can't grab it. Damn it. Why? Why can I not grab it? I need the flashlight. Why do I need that? I can't have the flashlight, apparently. Damn it. Okay, why? Yep. Okay. There's that. Yeah, okay. I'm not going into that door either. earlier. At least not that I know of. Lucky stars. And the scary thing is, is that pack is still full. This apparently is one of the lesser expensive rooms. Okay. Up we go. Oof. Oh, this is not good. Mm. 
Mm -mm. Okay. So my keys are not up here. Can't find them. Save them damn life. Beautiful artwork. Uh, this place is shit. <laughs> That's what that was, was staff quarters. Okay. Let's get in there. Can't go see them. Hey, Barbara. Are you home, honey? No, apparently not. That's, nope. Don't need there either. So, apparently, um, I'm stuck. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do for now, uh, I think we're going to leave it here for tonight. And we will pick up next time. If we don't find our keys tonight, uh, that would not shock me. But, let's go... And check the front desk. Let's go check down here one more time, shall we? Because if we don't get that, we can't leave. <laughs> and I do not want to stay here any longer than I necessarily have to. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. And nothing with the dying rose in there. Okay. Original mouse. Good lord. What does that bring back some nostalgia? I'm not that old, y'all, but still. Greatest hotel of the 80s. Okay, if they say so. Storage. Okay. Nothing in here. Hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to find out what the hell happened to our keys. I'm going to go back down here. are definitely not on the front seat. Mom's car is still here. missing. So this is where we're going to end up tonight. This is where we're going to leave for tonight. So car keys are missing. 
We want to leave, but we can't. the garage door. It's a conspiracy, Tebbit. Uh, stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. Okay, so... Quick drive, hey! I wonder what happened to quick drive in Found anything useful? No. No keys. No garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. Christ. It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. If I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, later. I can't believe it. I'm stuck. Shit. All right, kiddos. That's where we're going to end it for today. So now we know we have no way of getting out of here. So be sure to tune in next time, my little minions. When we find out what's going on in day two of The Suicide of Rachel Foster. This is actually a really good game. It's kind of thought provoking. Thought provoking, excuse me. Um. Oh, hello. Michael. You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah. Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but the Timberline has an age. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um... No, I didn't mean... Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh, I just... I'll call if I need you. Something tells me he likes me. All right, my little minions. So that's where we're going to end off for tonight. I hope you all enjoyed this first installment of The Suicide of Rachel Foster. I know I did. It's a little complex at first, but it's all good. And then we're fine. But we still need to figure out how to get the hell out of here. Because, yeah, I don't want to stay here any longer than necessary. So, as we say, have fun, live, laugh, love that. And be sure to tune in next time. Irving, it's me again, obviously. I could really use a shower. Sure. You'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to go down there, but I love that place. Full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurt.
All right, my loves. So here we're going to end it. Thankfully, now that they have stopped talking. I will see you in the next installment, which hopefully will be tomorrow night. Any real life issues notwithstanding. So my little minions, take care of yourselves, drink, drink plenty of water, stay out of the heat if you can possibly help it. And I will see you next time. This is Macabre Mom signing off. Bye.